Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Many men think the other man is getting the women. Now, who is the other man? Well, it depends on who you are and whatever man is opposite of you, you think getting the women. Because let's, let's talk about an obvious one. You got these guys talking about height and usually they're maybe shorter than average or at least think they're shorter than average. But then you get some other men thinking, nah, you know, it's all the men who got that square jaw. Of course, it's being said by a man who doesn't have a square jaw. Indeed, you get some men who actually have square jaws and be like, uh, nah, it ain't that easy. You know, it's the introvert thinking all the extroverted men are getting it. But then you get some extroverted men, they say, well, it's that quiet, mysterious dude. You know, and this ain't some recent uh, thing that's happened like with social media. It's always been there. You know, back in, back in the day, back in the day when I was young, you know, the general feeling, especially in the 80s, was especially in the black community, was that all the light-skinned men were getting the women. I actually thought that until, hey, let's say, mm, let's say a couple years of high school, but then I thought about it one time. I was like, well, no. Hey, that pretty girl showing some interest, that pretty girl showing some interest, that real pretty girl giving me good hooks. And so I see, I kind of got out of it, but I understand, because that's even the same case nowadays. You know, you got some light-skinned men saying, nah, they want all the chocolate brothers, you know? They want that big Mandingo brother. You get some guys thinking, nah, you know? You gotta be that lean dude to get a woman. Meanwhile, some lean dude saying, nah, I gotta put some weight on to get a woman. You know what? I'm gonna tell you what. There's two things with it. One isn't so bad, one is really bad. One, we just tend to be competitive. And we tend to look at everything but ourselves. See, while we checking out one man getting a woman, that, those other men looking at you. They talking about where that woman looking at you and everything. Cause we tend, we ain't seeing what's happening with us. We ain't paying attention. In fact, I said that one time. A man don't so much as need game, he just need to pay attention to the women checking them out. I remember one of my buddies, anybody who got my book, Nice Guys and Players, know about Jim. And I told this story before, but it, it's very apropos for what I'm talking about now. The thing, Jim, I go to a club, be just trying to holler at a woman and all of that. The woman, you know, not showing any interest. And he'd be like, Ron, those other three women were checking you out the whole time. Like, no, I don't care what it is. And shoot, I've even had that with some players. Somebody think, well, I gotta be that. I gotta put on this. I gotta put on that. That's one level. Another level is just low self-esteem. Not loving yourself enough. Not thinking you're worthy. You know, basing it on some rejections. That can be a little bit deeper. Shoot, maybe even deep to the point for some guys to simply need uh, some uh, therapeutic treatment. To need a therapist. Like, there's only so far I can go. But I would say this in general, in general, if you need deeper help, find a licensed therapist, okay? This is not medical advice I'm giving now. All I do is give my perspective, really just, I provide my philosophy, ultimately, ultimately. And one part of my philosophy is love yourself. Don't worry about the next man. It, you, first of all, every man is gonna get rejected. Every single man is going to be rejected by somebody. I don't care what he look like. Somebody ain't feeling him. I know of actual Hollywood stars. I could call their names from women who know him. And they say, nah, he having this problem. He having this problem. His woman cheated, something like that. Somebody's going to Because I don't care who you are. Every woman ain't going to like you. And there's 4 billion women in the world. Look, if you got a new woman every day, every day, for 10 years, a single, uh, every day, 3,000 something women, every day for 10 years, every day for 10 years, and leap year. So 3,600 uh, something women, all right? I don't even feel like trying to figure out those last few numbers. All right, that's still a drop in the bucket to what's out there. So if you the average man, you, if you can get maybe a new woman every month, that's still a lot. Whatever the case, still a drop in the bucket. Basically, there's an abundance. 
Don't worry about the women who don't want you or what they find in another guy. Don't worry about it. Because I'm going to tell you something back when I was younger, and this is part of the reason I got out of that uh, whole, oh, they just want the light-skinned guys. Because in the black community anyway, it was the light-skinned women that liked me. And that's still a, that's still a dynamic. We won't get into it. It's part of the reason why some black women complain about colorism. <sighs> That might be another thing, you know, I kind of, some things I don't talk about. But I started paying attention. I was like, well, hold up, all these, uh, and the term we used in the time, red bones. I said, well, hold up. These other women chasing those guys, but all the red bones liking me. So I was like, so I said, you know what? Let me stop worrying about these other guys and stuff. Cause look, here's the bottom line too. And I've talked about this several times. Every woman got something different she liked. You know, some women like a slim man. Some women, the guy got to be muscular. Some women, that guy got to be six feet. Some women just taller than her. Uh, there's actually some women who prefer a guy shorter than them. You know, some women, yeah, they like that athletic build. Some women like that stocky build. I know a few women, they actually, they want a clinically obese man. They love the belly. You know, as far as the face, you know, you got different types of face types. Some women like a round face. Some women got to have that perfect uh, square jaw. Some like a slim face. Here's the bottom line. As a man, you got to love yourself enough to say, you know what? Somebody loves this. But here's the thing. A lot of guys don't see that. They focus on the rejection. They focus on the rejection. And this is something I found with the overwhelming majority of men that I've encountered and talked to and been in a situation where I could watch them. There was always some woman checking them out. If I can be around, if I can be in a mixed crowd and just sit back and pay attention, it's some woman, some women. I've known women to talk about, like some guys that other other men and women be like him, him, but she's like turned on. She's hot. She's trying to give them some. Every woman got their own uh, thing. That's what I mean by tribe. Like somebody said something about tribe, thought I meant some biological thing. No. Your tribe is simply the women who like you. It might not be based on their biology. It might be that you're a very spiritual man. It might be that you're a hustler. It might be that you're very paternal. It could be you're just a party man. You like to dance. Which women like that? Which women like that? Focus on that. And yeah, you do pay attention to their physicality because there's a deeper thing there because women with big round butt dunks love my ass. I don't care what it is. If they got a butt dunk and some nice thighs, they love me. I don't care what their size is. Before I recorded this, I was at the store. Some young slim woman who had a nice butt dunk was like, hey. I was like, hey, try. But then, you know, they, uh, the women that I deal with, they got kind of an intellectual thing. Let me see this. Yeah. So anyway, right? That's the thing right there. That's the thing. You got to stick with that. Look, fellas, I'm going to tell you something. In this thing of ours we call game, or if you don't want to use the word game, life, you got to love yourself. Your first relationship is with yourself. And you got to be selfish in that regard. Worry about yourself. Don't worry about the next man. See, here's, here's, let, me, let me break some other stuff down. Let me, let me go a little deeper. You don't know what that next man getting. He might be catching some hell. There have been times, and this part of the reason I got out of worrying about it. You, you thinking some guy, oh, yeah, this woman being all friendly. And then he said, man, she giving me hell. Or, yo, man, my girl just cheated on me. You don't know. And you don't worry about it, you know? And that's why even with the physicality part, find a woman that's feeling. Find a woman's feeling. Like I told you, when I was younger, it was a big thing about, uh, you know, light, light complexion brothers, you know, light skinned dudes, yellow dudes, whatever you want to call them. And, you know, darker brothers, chocolate brothers, you know, looking like an African brother. It was a big deal. Until I started running into women, they was loving just that exactly. <laughs> I was like, you know, when a big, fine woman, you know, who I'm looking at, and even before the juvenile songs, like, you's a big, fine woman, won't you back that thing up? You know, giving me, like, smiling and stuff, trying to call me up. I'm like, well, maybe this ain't a bad thing, you know? Just feel good about yourself. Look, this is all I say. Even with body game, even with it, you're still just fixing yourself up. And what I say about body game, worry about your size. Like, look at me. I'm a big dude. This is me. I'm not worried about some lean dude getting a woman. I'm not worried about that. I'm not going to try to be that. For me to get there, y'all, if I dropped that much, I would be like, Ron, do you have a virus? 
shoot, I, some of y'all will be uh, forming a GoFundMe to try to help me out. I'm good with where I am and the women who like me good with where I am, you know? And don't worry about it. You know, sometimes every now and then I get some uh, uh, troll or something to be trying to say, hey, yeah, you all big and all that? Yeah, I'm big all over. <laughs> I'm big in a way women like, uh, especially in a certain part. Look, and that's the thing with it. Oh man, got some noise out here, they cutting the grass. Anyway, anyway, right? <laughs> Look, seriously, you can't worry about the other man. Seriously, the only time you should even have a concern about another man is if he trying to holler at your woman, and even then, it's just about the competition. You don't know what that woman like. You don't know what turns on. You don't know what her imprint look like. You don't know anything. You don't know. You, you don't know. You don't know what psychological reason uh, she might want to deal with you. You don't know what's going on, what her tastes are, nothing. All you can do is present yourself. Don't worry about the next man. Even if you know him well, you don't worry about it. Don't worry about why a woman want him. Shoot, and really, I'm gonna be real with you. If you, you might be out and you see a woman walking with some dude and you think, oh, oh the one fine woman want him. I've known some very attractive women. They had gay friends that they would hold hands with out sometime. Sometimes women will hold hands with a guy she's with platonically. You don't know. Don't worry about it. That's the key thing. Don't worry about it. Worry about yourself. Present your best, be comfortable. Well, first love yourself and then fix yourself up to the best you can, but the, for your best, not everybody else. I use that example I used early. I ain't trying to be some lean dude. Don't want to be. People move out my way and stuff. Like I said, if I, if I, if I drop something like that, because I'll be like, okay, I got a serious medical issue. Seriously. I would be, I'd be happy if you ever see me just drop that, especially if it's sudden, especially if it's sudden. Um, seriously, seriously, and I'm good with it. The women I get with are good with it. You know, the women who came over here, they're good with it. All right, you got to think the same way. You got to be on the same thing. Feel good for yourself. Be good with it. And, and like I said, if a woman don't like it, okay. That's one, that's one, what? Four billion more to go. Rounding it up, it'll be four billion in a little bit. <laughs> but seriously, shoot, shoot. Let me shout out Steve to Dean Williams. What'd he say? A woman's turning 18 every second. It's like, come on, you got choices. You got choices. All you have to do is just be cool and love yourself. And I, and I said this in another video before, I'm gonna say it again. If you, if you don't love yourself, why you can't expect someone else to love you, all right? So that's the main thing. But don't worry about the next man. You know, only time to be concerned if it's the next man is trying to get in on your woman and he's being disrespectful about it. And even then, if you, if you love yourself enough, you can say, hey, yeah, go ahead, man, shoot your shot. Shoot your shot, man. And if you can get her, hey, you know what? You taking somebody off my hands because I ain't need to deal with that woman. And when he don't get her, you know what? Grab her, grab her on the ass. Put your other hand on your dick. And look at him like, yeah, motherfucker, now what? Seriously, you gotta have a certain amount of conceit, love, for, well, definitely love for yourself. You gotta feel good about yourself. Don't worry about the next man, all right? So anyway, that's all I got for today. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.